Hello everyone and welcome to another Indie Bin. This is the demo for Moonstone Island. Apparently we're going to be limited to 14 in-game days for the demo. So we're going to jump right in and see how it goes since there's uh, no options menu. Wow. Wakey wakey sleepy bones. I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come on over here and give your old man a hand. Ugh, that started off loud. And that's with the music volume at 80%? Jesus Christ, okay. Hello. Bother. First off, these crops need harvesting. You could be in for a very long journey out there. After all, you'll get to decide which island you choose to become your new home. I don't want you leaving home empty-handed and hungry. Right then, roll your sleeves up and let's get these crops harvested. Oh, and could you also grab that flag flower on the shore too? Sure, flag flower. We're harvesting aplums and squishes. That's very cute. Uh, okay. Flag flower is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like little yellow flags. Yeah, I kind of figured based on the name. Can you... Can you elaborate a little more on the spirits? Okay, so we'll have to cut down the plant to get seeds. Oh, okay. Wee. Uh. Don't harvest that. Okay. Okay, you have to hit it multiple times by pressing X. Not by pressing LT as is labeled on the bottom bar. That instead brings up your tool wheel. Okay, having to manually talk to him after each thing is not great. Nicely done. Now take this hoe and use it to dig a hole. When you've dug a hole, you can plant those seeds inside it. You can also use those holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. We'll plant that seed. Talk to him again. Perfect. Now once the seeds are planted, you have to tend to them to help them grow. Here, take this watering can and give those seeds a drink. Okay. Why are you making me go to the tool wheel if it's... If you're equipping it as soon as you're giving it to me. Okay. Beautifully done. Lesson three, growing plants. Crops need to be watered every day. If not, they'll wither and die and you'll lose all your hard work. You can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you. Okay, so this is exactly like every other farming game ever. I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need training, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before, it's your mother's medallion. It's a sort of portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. Okay, so it's... is the Stardew in Pokémon?
It sure is. It is a little bit weird that it was like, open your thing to see your menu, but then wouldn't let me do so and instead immediately went to this. Uh, it's a little, it's a little awkward to start. Um, I think the tutorial can be tightened up a bit, but that's okay. Um, I like this little dinosaur man. Thank you, Lou. Yeah, let's pick this. Pick this spirit. Yeah. Okay. Great choice. I'm sure you two will take good care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I will take care of them. Why didn't my mother give me my mother's medallion? Why isn't she here? Look, okay, you give me control for a split second so that I can wiggle back and forth and then the next cutscene starts. Okay. Okay, time to battle. Gemlin 2. We're supposed to be there. Okay, so we have a deck builder. Subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. Armor blocks attack damage. Yeah. Try using bash. Okay. Reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes them miss the next, next turn, which is your chance to deal more damage. Okay. Play two more cards. Now you're all out of energy. End your turn and see what the spirit does. Aplums are good for healing, so let's feed an Aplum. Yeah, that worked. Like it's about to use Earthquake on you. With the right moves, you might be able to stop that from happening. Use another Bash card to bring the Gemlin's armor to zero. Okay. There we go, now we've got the upper hand. Right, uh, banish it to the great beyond. Okay, so we are straight up killing these guys. Oh, my little, my little baby has a bad temper. Angry. Ankylo, Ankylo grew to level two. We found another Aplum and some money. Great work. One more thing. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have flag flower on hand for taming. Spirits love it. Okay. Fantastic. Sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else to give you before you go. Okay. Sure. Oh, this is cute. You look wiped out. Did your father have you banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those squishes you harvested to gain back some of your energy? Ah. E. 
Nom 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 nom. Delicious. That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. He literally said it was your medallion. Used to be mine and now we are passing it down to you. Yeah, I still don't get why... Whatever. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invented by alchemists that came before us. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in this medallion will come to your aid should you need help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Not really. Looks like the fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your spirits? You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this fuzzball too. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Okay. Oh, hold X. Okay. Well, here we go. You can level up, buddy. Okay, uh, let's give you more health. And we'll add Fallen Foe, because that looks new. Feed this fuzzball. Okay. Cute little musical cues. Thanks for doing that. Your father is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits, too. Now your spirits should have the strength they need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. Oh, but you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you're ready to go? Yeah. All right, this is it. Next time I see you, you'll be a fully fledged alchemist. This is one last gift for you, kid. I made you these tools. They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. I give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. Oh, wow. Here's a few seeds from the garden. I've been saving them for you. Aw. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your big adventure. <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, wherever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. And I'm so proud to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're going to make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share a love of things that grow. That applies not only to your crops, but also to the people around you. Oh, my darling, I'm so excited to see who you grow into. Just promise me you'll be safe out there. The world is changing and becoming more dangerous. I promise. We need you back in one piece, okay? Well, the wind is starting to pick up. I guess it's time for me to let you go. Time for the final lesson. Charge that broom up, then release its energy to catch the wind. And be safe, okay? We love you. Generating world. Building shrines, building islands, adding dungeons. Don't worry, we only have to do this once. For letting me know. What's that light over there? Oh, there's a town off in the distance. 
Finally! I hope they need an alchemist. Because I really need to get off this broom. I think I'm getting splinters. This wind is getting really strong. Is it supposed to be this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no. I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? Oh no! There goes my brand new broom. Ugh. Drop the tools dad gave me. And mom's seeds. Guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I hope this isn't a bad omen. I better look around and see if I can find the tools and seeds I dropped. Save successful. <laughs> okay, well, we found some of the seeds. Oh, hello. That's a moonstone. We didn't. That that was not ours before. Oh, that was. There's our axe and our hammer. Oh, our broken broom. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh, we got a squish though. And an aplum. Okay. Well, seems we got most of, most of our things. Grab some rocks. Why not? Uh, oh, our scythe. Where's our scythe? Oh no! We passed out! Try to get to bed before 2 a.m. Well, uh... Yeah, I suppose, uh, that taught us that lesson real quick. You're up. Are you okay? Your name is Osono? Come on. Come on. This was already vibing Kiki's delivery service very hard. You don't need to rip the name whole cloth. <laughs> well, you drop out of the sky last night and then I found you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you here and I was worried you weren't going to wake up, but you did. I guess with that getup, you must be a brand new alchemist. How exciting. Or a new stunt performer. Performer. <laughs> anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? I mean, you can sleep here if you want. I have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools? I'll just leave them here for you. I found them scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you could get your tent set up on the north side of town if you clear a space for it. Don't be afraid to chop down trees and cut to grass if you need to. Then you'll have the place all to yourself. I guess you could set it up on one of the outer islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting up. You seem pretty bruised up, but I don't think anything's broken. I might have some work for you too, so come downstairs when you're ready. The character that uh, Kiki stays with in uh, the classic Ghibli movie Kiki's Delivery Service is a baker named Asono. Uh, she's lovely, and I don't fault uh, the creators for wanting to uh, reference a good thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I like that particular that particular reference, but that's my opinion. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Asono, and I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come on by any time. Well, any time we're open, I mean. Oh, and I've got something for you. 
It's a crafting recipe for a cell crate. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. Okay, Mayor. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are a good place to start. Since you're here, can I ask you a quick favor? I need some stone to rebuild some minor basement damage. Don't ask. If you have some time, could you bring me some? I kind of want to ask, but sure. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. Just put the stone in the cell crate and I'll pick it up. Oh, we could immediate. Okay. So we've got the dating sim a bit. We've got the hearts. We can give gifts. We can talk. We can shop. Okay. I'm starting to see what this is. Guyana. Hmm, weird outfit. You must be the new alchemist. I'm Guyana. I work in the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere I need to be. Okay, bye. Oh. We just got a letter. I had a horrible dream that you broke your broom. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I'm sure you're fine, but I left you a crafting recipe for a balloon in case you're not. And don't be afraid to build bridges if flying is too scary. When your dad was a new alchemist, he only used bridges to get between islands. I hope you're doing all right, sweetie. Love, mom. Well, thanks, mom. <laughs> Cut grass, craft cloth, craft a balloon, fly off island with balloon. Spend a year away from home. Okay, so we found a moonstone, now we have to place our tent. Oh, there's a, a mailbox right here, okay. Oh, the alchemist skilled. Congratulations on your first day as new alchemist. Please remember that you are now a representative of the Alchemist Guild. The following misdeeds will lead to disciplinary action or expulsion from the guild. Giving flying equipment to untrained citizens, throwing spirits off islands, eating spirits, forming an army of spirits to overthrow a government. Good luck with your year of training. Yeah, well, if I need to overthrow a government, that's my goddamn business. Anyway, I think I am enjoying this. This is definitely fun and I can see where it's getting a lot of its influences. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's It seems like a fine little game and quite frankly, I'll probably be excited to get some play out of it. Ooh, a treasure map. And gemstones? Goodness me, we're already off to a fine start. So this has been the demo for Moonstone Island. I know that we are only on the second day, but I want to actually play this. And I want to encourage you to actually play this demo as well. Um, oh, actually, never mind. We have reached the end of the demo time and I forgot about that. Um, but go check this out. Uh, Moonstone Island uh, is, uh, we have played it on Steam here and should be coming out soon. Anyway, do check it out. Check out the store page. Check out their community stuff. They've got a Discord, as they said, on the main menu. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see ya.